Hello friends. Today I will be saying about a few words on space and time. I am Sheikh Jairuddin and you are seeing my YouTube channel. So, what is space and what is time? We all know that in physics the most difficult concepts are to understand the most simplest things. What are the most simplest things? Space, time, mass, charge and point particles. These are seems to be very easy but these are the most difficult ones. Today I will be only talking about space and time. There are two views on space and time. One is external views, sorry, one is eternal views and other is perceptional views. Eternal views, the credit goes to the Newtonian philosophy and physics and the perceptional views, the credit goes in some percentage on old Greek philosophy like Aristotle and in modern science means after uh, Newton, uh, Einstein came, then came string theory, then come quantum gravity. They are so slowly uh, shifting uh, to the perceptional views on space and time. What is in eternal views? In eternal views, the space is eternal. In space is infinite and it always exists. It is, it is infinite. The space, there are no limit on space and there is no limit on the existence of space. Space is a kind of a very eternal and very noble thing. And uh, we know uh, in eternal views time is also a very eternal thing. There is an universal time and the time is always same. That was uh, our Newtonian views. In perceptional views that this changes dramatically. Here we see space is where things exist. And most importantly space lost its meaning when nothing exists. What does it mean? Everything exists in space. So space is where the thing exists and if there is nothing exists, there is nothing at all. So then there is no space. So existence of space is clubbed with the existence of something. What is the something? Uh, as far as our current stand, uh, understand, the something is mass. Well, we will be discussing more. Now, what is the time? Time is the measurement of change. Interesting. Time is the measurement of change. And when nothing changes, there is no time. Or we can say, there cannot be any time where nothing changes. If uh, you say there exists something and this does not change, uh, nothing changes, then there is no time. This is our perceptional views. It is uh, difficult to, to understand, uh, but uh, difficult to conceptualize, but slowly uh, you will uh, start conceptualizing. Well, we uh, move uh, further. Now the question is, is it possible that something will exist and it will not change? Well, uh, the question is uh, very cleverly asked. Uh, the fundam more fundamental question is, uh, is it possible that uh, space exists and time does not? <laughs> My answer of the question is a clear no. So if something exists, space will exist and a time will be there. From perceptional angle, space and time exist together. So the relation between space and time is first uh, relation is the coexistence. Then we will dig into D. Space and time are related very closely to mass. So this is the, the third most important thing is mass. I am not uh, here discussing the philosophy of mass means what is actually mass. So well, we are discussing uh, in the angle of space and time. 
you have all heard that mass carves the space well, uh, you have seen, might have already seen the lots of youtube videos and uh, might have already uh, read all the very good uh, popular science books that uh, mass carves the space and that's why the masses attract each other means gravity is the consequence of space time curvature this sentence you have already heard what is actually mean so this is the subject uh, to, to discuss uh, there is a that subject discusses the question in great depth is the general theory of relativity it is called gtr so i am not here uh, telling you or teaching you gtr so i am telling you some very few basics this is the from the angle of uh, space and time well where do space curve you have heard about the curvature space is being curved why did it exactly curves you know uh, if you are carving uh, say you are uh, drawing a curve uh, you are carving uh, you, you just you draw a curve mm, just you uh, draw like this so this is like uh, you are just carving a straight line into a plane means the, the to carve a straight line or to bend a space line, uh, to bend a straight line you need another dimension so you have one dimension this is straight line here you are carving the straight line this is the curve to carve a one dimensional straight line you need another dimension so where do the space curve what is the extra dimension in which the space curve so that extra dimension is time space curve on time axis what is really mean i'm giving you an example so first thing first if there are mass if there exist mass then time flows slowly near the mass yes that's it you have read in special theory of relativity that time flows slowly time flows slowly if you are moving with large velocity very high velocity and yes time flows slowly if you are near very high mass say if you are in top of mount everest or in a space station your time will flow quickly then your friend who is sitting on earth right and yes the presence of mass and the presence of gravity and the slowdown of time directly related to each other so these are most important uh, sentence the presence of mass means if there is mass then there will be gravity and uh, the presence of mass and slowdown of time is the similar relation of uh, just exactly presence of mass and presence of gravity means if there is a mass then the time will be slow near the mass and you can safely say that things fall downwards because time flows slowly downwards means we have all heard and we have all read and we have all understood that the things falls downwards means if i just uh, uh, we have a pen i'm just uh, uh, releasing the pin pin is going downwards and we have uh, read that uh, there is gravity attracting on it and uh, of course uh, there will energy will be less uh, in downwards then the uh, pin is going downwards you can conceptualize the same event like that pin is falling downwards because downwards time flows slowly well that's the end of today's discussion there will be lots of lots of lots of things more to be discussed with this uh, space and time discussion and i believe there could be 10 20 lectures on space and time so this is the first if you like my lecture then the of course the discussion will continue so everything depends on the feedback of, of you so that's the end of today uh, you please uh, see the video you can uh, safely share the video with uh, your friends uh, thank you.